Eukaryotic genes consist of coding sequences of nucleotides called exons and non-coding sequences called introns. The product of transcription, called the primary transcript, is formed with a 5' prime cap and a 3' prime poly A tail. The intron sequences are then removed by the process of RNA splicing. The intron-exon junctions are recognized by small nuclear ribonucleoproteins called SNRNPs. These SNRPs then cluster together, forming a larger complex called a spliceosome, which carries out the removal of the intron. Splicing involves cleavage of the 5' prime end of the intron, forming a looped structure called a lariat, joining the two exons together and releasing the intron. One advantage of the splicing process is that a single primary transcript can be spliced into different messenger RNAs by the inclusion of different sets of exons. This process, called alternative splicing, explains how the 30,000 genes in the human genome are able to encode the 120,000 different translated messenger RNAs reported to exist in human cells. On a larger scale, it has been proposed that an advantage of gene splicing may be that during the course of evolutionary history, various combinations of exons may have been created by exon loss, duplication, and reshuffling. Changes in the sequence of the primary transcript could be due to mutations in the DNA of the gene or to mutations in an intronic scission mechanism.